Uh, hello children, let us know the genetic disorders. Genetic disorders are due to the chromosomal or gene defect. And uh, in previous class I told you, it was detailed studied by Sir Archibald Garrow. Fine. So here, in the genetic disorders, there are two types. Chromosomal disorders and the gene disorders. Depending upon whether the defect is present with the chromosome or with the gene. So if it is chromosomal disorder, the defect lies in the number of the chromosome. The defect lies in the number of the chromosome. And it is mainly due to the non-disjunction of chromosomes. In one gamete, the extra chromosome will go. And in another gamete, there is a deficiency of chromosome. In one, there will be a less chromosome. In one, there will be a more chromosome. Due to this abnormality, the, re the resulting zygote will develop into an individual with some abnormal characters. Sometimes, they may hinder the normal survival, which will become very difficult for, the organ for that particular individual in survival. So, here, let us first go to the chromosomal uh, disorders. So here mainly the number of chromosome, the number, the defect lies in the number of the chromosome. What is the normal chromosomal number? It is 46. The diploid set of chromosomal number is 46. The defect may be plus 1 or minus 1. Fine, the defect uh, which we are taking here may be plus 1 or minus 1. If plus 1, it is Mono, it is trisomy if minus 1 then it is monosomy and the defect may be with the autosome or the allosome the defect may be with the autosome or the allosome autosome or the allosome so maybe autosomal disorder depending upon whether the somatic chromosome autosomes are going to get affected or it may be allosome, whether it is the sex chromosome which is going to get affected. So now let me just say you the three chromosomal disorders which are there for our syllabus. Down syndrome, Turner syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome. So these three diseases will be asked in the annual theory for 3-3 three, three marks. Already these are all asked in the annual exam. And of course in the CET, uh, uh, in different angle it will be asked. Now, Down syndrome, it is an autosomal disorder. Turner's and Klinefelter syndromes are the allosomal disorders. First, let me go to the Down syndrome. Down's syndrome. It was for the first time studied by Dr. John Langdon Down. It was for the first time studied by Dr. John Langdon Down in 1866. It is after his discovery the name Down syndrome has been given. So it is a autosomal trisomy. It is a autosomal trisomy. It is a, because here autosome is present one extra. I mean one extra autosome is present and that to 21st chromosome is present thrice. 21st chromosome is present thrice. That is why it is called 21st trisomy. What do you mean by trisomy? Apart from the, I mean 46 chromosomes, of course they are there. Along with this, one extra chromosome is there. That is why it is called trisomy. So, it is called autosome, autosomal uh, disorder because autosomes are present extra here. And here, it is also called as 21st trisomy. It is called 21st trisomy because 21st chromosome is present thrice. So that is about the autosomal trisomy. So here the normal chromosomal number that is 46. Instead of 46, the chromosomes will become 47. Instead of 46, how many chromosomes that individual will be having? 47. Fine. And... Uh, Prokaryotype, that is the chromosomal complement. Only the karyotype of these three diseases is asked in annual exam for three marks. Each one will be carrying one one mark. So what is the karyotype? 45 autosomes are there. The affected individual may be female or it may be male. 
so 45 autosomes if it is female that will be having x x chromosome fine so 46 47 so it will become 47 right if the affected individual is male then what is his karyotype it will be 45 autosomes plus x y thus it will become 47 so karyotype you have to remember what is the karyotype of down syndrome for the female it is 45 autosome plus xx you have to write and i wrote here together i wrote here or bar fine if it is asked for female you are, you are going to write only xx if it is for the male 45 autosomes plus x and y how many chromosomes will be there in that individual? 47. Fine. Now, the extra chromosome is due to the non-disjunction of chromosome. And here, this situation will occur usually in those females who will give birth nearly after 45 years, uh, 45 age. Because during that time, during meiosis, the chromosome segregation will not occur properly. And that result in the abnormality of the zygote. Usually such abnormal babies will get aborted spontaneously. They, I mean, they are not going to survive up to the parturition. But sometimes, bad luck we can say, if they survive, if they survive, if the defective zygote with the defective chromosome if it is going to survive then certain abnormalities are seen in that particular baby like the down syndrome will be having if the child is suffering with the down syndrome that is if it is with a one extra 21st chromosome then what all those extra 21st chromosome is responsible for the characters those characters i wrote here See, the child will be small. The child will be small and having a round head. Uh, the small stature with a small round head. The forehead will be larger. The forehead will be larger. The child will be having a small nose with a flat nasal bridge. What do you mean by nasal bridge? It is a gap between the two eyes, upper portion of the nose. So, that is called the nasal bridge. In the Down syndrome child, that nasal bridge is flat. Fine. And the mouth is always open and the tongue will be protruding. The tongue is little bit thicker. The tongue is thicker because of that the mouth is open and always it will salivate. If the mouth is open, then the saliva will come out continuously. So that is the next character. And the eyes are upward and slanting. So eyes are little bit upward like this. And uh, they will be slanting. Slanting. On the eye, eyebrows will be... Uh, on the upper eyelid, you will see a specific kind of folding. Uh, that folding is called as epicanthus. It is the important feature of the Down syndrome. What is epicanthus? It is a specified fold on the upper eyelid of a Down syndrome child. So that is the next character. The fingers and their toes are, toes are stubby. They are stubby. Fine. And they are apart. They are situated a little bit uh, far apart. Like our fingers, when you join, it will we will see that there is no much gap. But in the children who is suffering with the Down syndrome, their fingers and their toes are stubby. They are stubby and there is a gap between these. Fine. So stubby parted fingers and toes will be there. The congenital heart defect will be there. Right from the birth itself, there is a defect in the heart. And mental retardation will be there. The child's IQ is not proper. And a crease palm. The palm is having the foldings. That is called palm crease. So these are the characters which you will see in the Down syndrome. And it will be asked for 3 marks in the annual exam. What important thing you have to remember? Down syndrome, it is a autosomal trisomy. Down syndrome, it is a autosomal trisomy. That is, autosome, one autosome is present extra. Which autosome is present extra? 21. That is why it is called 21 trisomy. What is the karyotype? 45 autosome plus
plus sex chromosome the affected individual may be male or female so if it is female then 45 autosomes plus xx chromosome you have to write and if it is male then you have to write 45 autosome plus xy chromosome you have to write and what are all the symptoms the child is having a small stature, round head, broad uh, forehead it will be having and the eyes are slanting on the eye. Eyelid is having a special folding which is called epicanthus and nasal bridge is flat. The nasal bridge is flat and the fingers and the toes are stubby and up there uh, situated a uh, little, they, there will be a gap. So parted, stubby fingers will be there, the palm crease it will be having and right from the birth itself there is a defect in the heart and the child is mentally retarded and always the mouth is open because of the thick tongue and it will be salivating. So these are the symptoms of the Down syndrome. Now let us see the next one that is the Turner syndrome. Now let us see the next disease that is Turner's syndrome. Turner's syndrome is studied, it was studied by Dr. Turner. The name after the doctor, it is Turner's. So Turner's syndrome, it is a allosomal monosomy. It is a allosomal or you can say sex monosomy. Monosomy means loss of one chromosome. That is minus one chromosome from the 46 chromosome. So hence here the chromosome number will become 45 instead of 46. What is the chromosomal number here? 45 instead of 46. If a karyotype, if you will write, how you are going to write? 44 autosomes plus X and 0 chromosome. Only one X chromosome will be there. Other X chromosome is lost. It is deleted or it may be with the other uh, gamete. Other gamete in the sense it may be with the polar body which will, which will get degenerated. Fine. So what is the karyotype? It is 44 autosomes plus X0. And here it occurs due to the loss of one chromosome during gametogenesis which already I told. And now you... As the X chromosome is present, the affected individual is female. X chromosome is present, hence this zygote will develop into a female child and the females are sterile. Females are sterile. What do you mean by sterile? The females are not having the capacity of reproduction. They are sterile and you will see the poor development of secondary sexual characters. Secondary sexual characters in the females already you have learned. Fine. Deep voice, enlarged breast, enlarged hip girdle. Like that you have studied. So those characters are not developed properly in these individuals. And the important feature is presence of webbed neck. The neck region is, it will become little bit broader. It will become a neck region it will become broader and it will be having the foldings so this is a very important feature of that a very important feature of turner syndrome don't think it as a tree it is the webbed neck let me draw only neck fine so that is about the webbed neck this character is seen only in the turner syndrome and then the chest is shield like or sometimes it is also called as pigeon chest. So broad shield like chest will be there and the ovaries are underdeveloped. The ovaries are underdeveloped and the secretion of female sex hormones is less. That is the quantity of the female hormones in these individuals will be less. So these are the important symptoms of the Turner syndrome. What are the important, I mean, Turner syndrome, what important point you are going to remember? Turner syndrome, it is a allosomal monosomy where one X chromosome is lost. One X chromosome is lost during the gametogenesis. Hence, how many chromosome number you will see in the Turner syndrome's individual? 45. How 45? Because of loss of one. 
How do you write the karyotype? It is 44 autosomes. There is no defect in the autosomes. But the defect lies with the chromosomes. Only one X chromosome will be there. That is 44 autosomes X0. And uh, now important symptoms what do you write? The affected individuals will be sterile females as X chromosome is there. And here the secondary sexual characters are not well developed. Or you can write underdeveloped or poorly developed secondary sexual characters. And here the neck is webbed. Webbed neck is present and the chest is like a broad shield. And ovaries are rudimentary or you can say underdeveloped because of that the female hormones are less secreted or quantitatively less amount of female hormone is secreted by this individual. So it is about the Turner syndrome. Now next let me go to the clean filters syndrome. Clean filters syndrome. Clean filters syndrome for the first time it was studied by Dr. Harry F. Clean filter. It was studied by Harry F. Clean filter. It is a allosomal trisomy. Here one extra X chromosome is present. One extra X chromosome is present. Hence it is called as trisomy. Here one extra sex chromosome is present. So it is called allosomal trisomy. How do you write the karyotype? 44 autosomes. That is no defect in the autosome number. That is 44 autosome plus X, X, Y. That is 3 sex chromosomes are there. As your Y chromosome is there. As your Y chromosome is there and XY combination you know that it is for the male. If the zygote is having XY sex chromosome combination then that zygote is going to develop into a male individual. Fine. As your one extra X chromosome is there. One extra X chromosome is there. So this individual is having certain female characters also. The male Male will be there with extra some female characters will be there. Because of the presence of this extra chromosome X, the males are sterile. That is they are not having the capacity of reproduction. And they have underdeveloped secondary sexual characters. Or you can say the secondary sexual characters are poorly developed. What are all secondary sexual characters in the male? A muscular body, coarse, wise and the facial and the body hairs. These are the important characters. So there is a poor development in the secondary sexual characters. Even axial hairs are also not properly developed. And in certain cases the breast enlargement is seen which is a female character and that is called as gynecomastia. It is a important character which is seen in certain uh, males which are affected by the clean filter syndrome. And here some of the clean filter syndrome individual will tend to have the longer limbs, longer forearms and the legs they will be having than the normal and the quantity of male sex hormone is less. And the testis is underdeveloped or you can say underdeveloped reproductive organs, especially testis. So these are the characters of the clean filter syndrome. What all things you are going to remember in the clean filter syndrome? Clean filter syndrome, it is a allosomal trisomy. It is a allosomal trisomy because one X chromosome is present extra. So what is the karyotype here? 44 autosome plus X, X, Y. What, uh, what important symptoms you are going to remember? The affected individual is a sterile male and the quantity of the male hormones are less and the reproductive organ, mainly the testis is underdeveloped and the secondary sexual characters are poorly developed and in some of the cases, the individuals will show the enlarged breasts. 
and that particular character is called gynecomastia. So in the Turner syndrome, web and neck is special and here the gynecomastia is special. And I told you that the loss or the extra chromosome is due to the non-disjunction or during the meiosis certain defect will occur which is not exactly known and I told you it always occurs in the females who will reproduce at later stage of their life after 45 or uh, nearly and these individuals with the defective chromosome number they will get aborted spontaneously fine now let me just simple show you how this disjunction will occur so let me just continue with this only. Let me write here only. Allosomal disjunction. Let me show you. Suppose a parent is having XX chromosome. A female is having XX chromosome. And male is having XY chromosome. Fine. And during gamete formation... <coughs> They will get separated. Fine. So sometimes the both the allosomes may move towards one chromosome, the one gamete. The other may not be having any of the allosome. And here the males will form the as usual, normal, without any defect if they form the sperms. Let us think, let us assume like this. So how the zygote are produced? So if the gamete, if the ova with two X, if it combines with the Y, let me write Y, then it will result in clean filter syndrome, clean filters syndrome. Fine. And if the sperm fertilizes the ova, which is not having any of the X chromosome, then this will result in the Turner's syndrome. Turner's syndrome. So here, uh, roughly I have shown. So what I have shown? Parent. Just I have taken the allosome, sex chromosome. Female will be having XX chromosomes and the male will be having XY chromosome. Due to certain unknown reasons. These chromosomes will not get separated during gamete formation. These two will move to one gamete and the other one will be without any sex chromosome. It is, you can say bad luck. If this will become the active ooted or if this becomes the active ooted. What are the consequences uh, the individual is going to face that I have shown here. So this spermatogenesis process, let us think that it is normal. If the ova with the two X chromosome got fertilized with the Y chromosome, then it results in the clean filter syndrome. If the ova without any sex chromosome, it will be having only autosomes. If it combines with the X, if it will get fertilized with the sperm which is having X chromosome, then it results in the Turner syndrome. Just I have shown you the example. So in this uh, video class, what all things you have learned? You have learned about the Down syndrome. Turner syndrome, clean filter syndrome. That is the Down syndrome is a autosomal trisomal disorder and the Turner syndrome is a allosomal monosomy and the clean filter syndrome is a allosomal trisomy. And I told each disease is asked for 3 marks in the annual exam and only the karyotype itself is asked for 1-1 one, one mark in the annual exam. Now in coming period we will go for the gene disorders.